In this video, we're going to show you how to quickly build your first multi-device application for Windows, OS X, iOS, and Android. Let's get started. I'm going to say File New, FireMonkey Mobile Application. We'll choose the blank application template, and we'll start with building for iPhone. And once the project is loaded, you can choose the skin that you want your design surface to look like, whether it's an iOS device or an Android device. We have different choices. You can also create your own custom look and feel. We'll set ours to start with iPhone. We're gonna put a few controls down and then we're gonna build this application and run it on our iOS device, on our Android device, on Windows and on Macintosh. So let's put a button down. We'll use the object inspector to set its text property to click me. We'll put a calendar edit control below the button and we'll add a label control. This application, we're going to choose a date, hit the button, and have it display the date we chose uh, down here in the label. So we'll double click on the button and say label one dot text is going to get calendar edit one dot date, and we need to format that. So we'll just say format date time, and we'll put a string here uh, for the year the month, and the day. And let's save this project. Now we can go in inside of our project manager, choose the different target platforms. Since I've got my Android device connected already, my Nexus 7, let's go back and change the skin to Nexus 7. Has a little bit different look. Let's hit run. Notice we've got our device selected. It compiles, links, creates the APK file, now deploying it to the device and there it's installing the APK and I've got this little utility that lets me see what's on the device select the calendar and here's an Android look calendar pick a day pick a year and when we're done we get the date hit click me and it will take the selection from the calendar that we chose and display it in the label down below now we can go back and change the target to our iOS simulator and choose that we want to have the simulator for iPhone. Let's compile and run this application for the simulator. And it pops up. Now we have the simulator. We can go in and choose using the native date picker and hit click me. And it changes the date and displays it in the label. And after we test with the simulator, we can go in and connect a device. In my case, I've got my iPhone, so I'll change the display to iPhone in the designer. Over here, we've got our platform assistance server running on the Macintosh. We've got our iPhone connected. I'll bring up this utility we use called Reflector, so you can see what happens on the device itself. And let's uh, activate the iOS device target, hit run. It will compile and link the application for the device. It'll send it over via the Macintosh through the USB cable to the, my iPhone. Here's the splash screen for the app. And now we've got the calendar control. We can choose the calendar. Again, we're using the native date picker for the iOS device. It click me and it takes the choice that I made and sends it to the label. Select a different date. And then the click handler for the button will update the label with the date that was selected. Let's go back into the IDE. We also can build for 32-bit windows. Just select the windows target, hit compile and run. And now we have the same application, in this case using a Windows calendar. Hit the button and go. To have a 64-bit windows or an OS 10 application, we'll simply go up to the project group and say add a new project. We'll choose Delphi FireMonkey Desktop Application, HD. And we can throw away the unit that was created and just add the same units that we had from the previous project. So we'll say add, go to our calendar edit demo, take that unit, we get the same code. Here's the look, Windows, choose a target platform, for example, 64-bit Windows, hit Run. 
And now we have a 64-bit Windows version of the same application. Added the target platform OS 10. Make sure that we can connect to that same machine. We're connected. Hit run. Here's our Macintosh OS 10 version of the application using the same application design and the same code we were able to build an Android iOS device iOS simulator 32-bit Windows OS 10 and 64-bit Windows version of the same application using Rad Studio XZ5 now it's time to explore all the other videos that are here on the start here page to learn more how to do multi-device application development using Rad Studio XZ5 have a great time.